Ladies and gentlemen, the question that we've all been asking ourselves, how do you play a video game? Well, the answer to most people would be pretty simple. You fire up the console, take the controller, hit the buttons on it with your hands to uh, and your fingers to control the character or whatever it may be. What if we took away half of that? And instead of using our hands, we give our other body parts some love. Because the hand, hands get all the attention when you're playing a, a video game because they're always the ones hitting the controller and everything. What if we give the hands, give our hands a little bit of a break this time? Instead, whip out the other somewhat hand-like body part that we have, our feet. Now, I decided to do this. I, I've been playing with my feet before in games, but I decided to go on the daunting task of beating a game with my feet. The, this game I'm deciding, deciding today is New Super Mario Bros. U. Well, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, the 2019 remake of New Super Mario Bros. U. This game I have beaten plenty of times in the past, but today I'm going to be beating the game with my feet. Now, I don't think this will be too terribly difficult, I hope, but anyway, this is, this is going to be a good game, and I'm going to try to be with my feet, because my hands need a break. After all this time playing, my hands have been playing video games since I've been playing video games, and I need these feet right here are going to be doing this, which is why I will be completing New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe with only my feet. I am, the rules are pretty simple. I can't touch the controller with my hands, and I have to use my feet to play the game. That's basically it. There's no other reason. All I have to do, the only thing I have to do is beat the game. Doesn't matter how I beat it, as long as I beat it. I will be taking secret exits. Now, the optimal route for completing New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe is to take the second world exit. Take you to the sparkling waters world. You beat the blooper level, which underwater levels are a nightmare. Uh, no feet, or with feet. And then you go to Soda Jungle. Soda Jungle, from there, you play up to the tower. And that's what we're going to be doing today. And then we're going to go down to the ghost house. Take the secret exit out, which takes you to the flight of the parabeetles. The worst level in the entire game, which we're going to have to beat with our feet. That takes you to the Moraine Clouds level. From there, we will take the secret exit in the ghost house to take us to Ludwig's uh, Clockwork Castle with the stupid sledge bros. Um, and then we beat the game normally, take the Peach's Castle secret exit because it minimizes the amount of levels we have to play, and then beat Bowser. It's really that simple. It's just the levels themselves and the way we played the game. So, that all said and done. Without further ado, let's go! Okay, I just started recording the foot cam. It's going to be up some corner of the screen, hopefully. Uh, here it is. Got my tripod out with the camera on my feet. Okay, hopefully you can hear this just fine. All right, let me grab the controller. We're going to get started. All we're going to do is try to beat New Super Mario Bros. U today. And I'm going to try to take the fastest route that's possible, if it is possible. Uh, let me make sure this is all good. Okay. Looks like it is. I'll be able to zoom in on like a little bit more. I don't know. This might be good. I don't know. We're just going to get started. All right, let me... Here's the first task, starting the game. Oh, my God. Okay. We are in New Super Mario Bros. U. Okay, guys, we're going to see how this goes. I'm, I've, I've actually played games with my feet before, so this is not new to me. Well, kind of is it pretty much. I've never completed a game. I've played a few levels with my feet in Mario Maker. But we're going to see how this goes here. All right, sorry if my feet look disgusting. Feet are not necessarily the most pretty body parts out there. Okay, we're going to have to go in and delete one of these save files. Okay. All right, this is going to be already a pain. Um, hopefully it's recording. All right, we're going to have to... I'm not allowed... To use these hands. If I use these hands at any point, yeah, I am disqualified and have to re restart the whole thing. So I'm going to not touch the control of my hands at all, even when I'm in the menus. Even when I'm in the menus. Alright. Hello, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's get started. Let me open this save file here. Alright. Single player, we'll just kick off with Mario and see how it goes. Now, the A button and the stick combo is already uncomfortable to use, but I'll get used to it. The, 
The feet are not as majestic as the hands are with long fingers that can easily move like this. But the feet, you know, they don't really... They're made for walking, and that's about it, and kicking and stuff. That's really about it. Alright, I've seen this cutscene so many times, guys, I don't even know. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how long this is going to take, but we'll find out. Lydia, what are you doing? Lydia's playing Barbies over there. Bella's over there, I wonder if she'll make an appearance during the feat. That'd be kind of cool, but my cat doesn't like me, so she probably won't come. And to the feet can. I don't know if I'm going to do this all in one sitting. I might take a break in the middle if my feet start hurting or whatever. Actually, let me go get a drink. Alright, alright. Basically, I got my chair right here and I'm sitting down. There's my drink here. I wish you could skip this cutscene, but you can't. It's impossible. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a full raw footage run. That way you don't see me cheating at all. It's going to be all raw footage with the feet. And you'll be able to see. Hopefully I can line this up in the editing software to where it's lined up. And hopefully we don't get any appearances by bugs or anything. Alright, now we're just going to get started with the first stage and see how this goes here. Let me get my feet in a comfortable position. Let's see if we can beat it without dying. It probably won't happen. Oh, man, this is so weird. Okay. Okay, so I can't really run. That's kind of a problem. Okay, I made it. I killed the first Goomba. That is an achievement. Right, here's a mushroom. Let's see if we can grab this squirrel suit. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, using the upwards boost is going to be a bit of an issue because these triggers are not easy to... There we go, I hit it with it. Oh, it's not good enough. Koopa! Alright. This guy is a... Alright, I'm out. Alright, let's jump over here. We got the first star coin. Don't count on me getting star coins, because it's not going to happen. But I'll try to get some of these first few. Actually, you know what? You know what? We probably need to just beat the level. Waddle wing. I actually haven't even taken damage yet. Let me see if I can hit the X button at the same time. This is nice. Look at this out here. Yeah. Oh, you see these moves I'm whipping out here? This is like, I, it looks like I'm using my hands, but I'm not. My hands are right up here. I'm not using them. Okay, I have a way I can hit the X and A button at the same time and just go, fly through this stage. Oh, shoot. I'm just going to keep moving. We didn't have the squirrel suit at the end there, but... And the good thing about this game is to do the mid-air twirl thing, you, all you have to do is just hit the A button again in mid-air and, and use the Marvel's U Deluxe. If this was the Wii U version, we wouldn't have been able to do that. Now, let me make sure it's still filming real quick. Okay, it should be. Alright. I didn't mean to do that again. Crap. I accidentally hit the A button. Alright, let's hit the plus now. Quit. Okay, here we go. This will help me have way better feet fluency. Now, really, the only buttons, uh, the good thing about these 2D games, all I gotta do is hit the A in the stick, and that's about it. Hopefully, I don't break my controller right now. Alright, now we're gonna do Acorn Plains 2 Tilted Tunnel. Alright, let's grab this fire flower. Now, how am I gonna shoot these? It's hard to shoot. I'm gonna have to, like, hold my entire foot up with that. Okay. That's going to be a bit of an issue, but we'll see how this goes. My controller is just... I feel like I'm going to break the controller. Uh, I, mean, I just got blazed through. I already lost my fire flower. Okay, this is not a good start. Right, let me kill these piranha plants. Get out of here, Goombas. All right, a good strategy to go through this stage. I'm going to have to just kill all the enemies and then aim my way forward. We have not died yet. We've only taken damage a couple of times, so that's pretty good. Now, once we get to, like, World 8 or something, that's going to be a, a problem. Now, I've, I've beaten this game so many times. I've beaten this game more than any other game on Earth. This is my favorite 2D platformer. Oh, or, no, my favorite 2D Mario game. 
favorite 2D platform is probably Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Oh, good forward. Now I can just slide down here. We gotta make our jump. Wham! That's what I'm talking about. Oh! No! I, I hit. didn't hold it down. That's the first death. I don't know if I'm gonna put in a death count. Probably not. Because I don't know how to do that, but I might figure it out. Alright, let's try this again. Did I get a checkpoint? I don't think I got a checkpoint. That sucks. Let's see if I can grab a mushroom. Raise my foot up a little bit. Alright, let's get in here. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever these piranha plants. Let's grab the fire flower again. Alright, I got it. Shoot these guys. It's hard to shoot without jumping. Because the big toe wants to hit multiple buttons at once. I'm kind of just hitting all four buttons at once. That's why I'm gaining crazy speed out of nowhere. But this is going to be difficult. I'm just going to have to jump. I'm going to have to make a running jump. There we go. Heck yeah, that was sweet. I had to use... I used my uh, index toe. Index finger. Toe. Whatever that toe's called. Instead of the big toe. The big, the big toe is really the only toe that's being used. And usually when you're using a controller, the thumb is the only finger you use. You use your index finger, your pointer finger, whatever you call them. They got multiple names for the triggers. Triggers I can't really hit though right there right now. Let's see if I can make this jump. Yeah, heck yeah. Alright, I got took damage, but it's all good. I jumped, game! Oh my god. Alright. We are not off to a good start. Problem is, I'm trying to run through this whole stage at once. Buddy, would you say this is a problem? She's just per she is just out of it these days. Lydia is just a pain in the actual. Alright, here we go. Mushroom. Right, let's head back in the pipe. Hey, get Bella over here. Bella needs to say hi to the foot cam. Alright, let's grab this firefly. Let's take it, let's take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, check this out. Check out this momentum. Wow, that was the most clutch Goomba kill I might have ever done. Especially with my feet. Jump, you stupid plumber! See, he doesn't want to jump because turns out I had the button actually hit, uh, press down. I need to take this slow because the fact that I'm dying, this controller is going to be smelly. I don't wash my feet much. You know, when you're in the shower, you don't really wash your feet. Well, I don't put soap on my feet. I don't lift my feet up and put soap on it, so... Oh, I just take damage. The only way to get through it fast, though, is to use the, the X button to run. And I usually use Y and B when I'm using my hands, but obviously we can't do that here. For obvious reasons. Alright, let's just take this slow. Avoid the piranha plants. Jump over the humus. Oh, I, oh my gosh! I'm about to get a game over. This is not... This is not good, guys. This is not good. I beat the first level really easily, even out of this stage. And I need to remember to get the secret exit, too, because if I don't get the secret exit, that won't be good. Alright, here we go. Let's grab this mushroom. Mushroom is grabbed, and we're going to go in the pipe. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if I can grab a fire flower. Fire flower is grabbed. Now let's see if I'm just gonna burn every single organism in front of me and then go. To ensure that I don't take damage. Oh, that didn't work out so well. There we go, that's how I like it. Ah, oh, okay. It's hard to button mash on this. Okay, let's see if I make this jump here. There we go. Is there an item in here? There is a fire flower in here. This, this level gives you a lot of powers. Alright, heck yeah, heck yeah. This might be where I died every time. Alright, no, this is just a big slide part. Okay, here we go. Just a little relaxation time for me. Alright, we're gonna jump over. 
Alright, let's see if I made this jump. This is scary. Okay, I made it. Alright, let's grab the checkpoint. That is great progress. I didn't mean to jump! Alright. Let's grab this fire flower. We'll go up this way. I, I, I do know where the secret exit is, so that's good. Once we get later on in the game, I might forget where the secret exit is. Alright, fire flower! Out of town, Jackie. This is where the secret exit is, right here. No! No! I, no! I meant to use the... Oh my god, it's hard to control. Once you're on the move, oh, you're, you're on the move. This is not good. We're 12 minutes in, still on the first level. Again, I, I also might have to split this into two parts. I don't really know. Alright. What on earth was that? I was trying to run. Okay, I'm done running. No more running. We're gonna have to do this slow. If Marlene can beat this game without running, I can too. Here we go. We're gonna take it very slow. I gotta grab this mushroom in here. Alright, here we go. Alright. It has been grabbed. Now make sure it doesn't die. Okay, I got it! Out down there, heck yeah, that's what I like to see. Right, let's jump up here. We'll get a firefly on the next level. Nice. All right, now I can run freely. That is very nice of us. Okay, now we're just gonna jump down here. All right, sorry if I sound like I'm dead. I'm really tired these days because I'm so bored and I got nothing to do half the time. Okay, Let's jump up here, get to the flag, there we go, that's how we do it. Alright, secret exit for World 1, World 1 secret exit is officially incorporated, or whatever, I don't even know what I'm saying, we've officially completed World 1, and now we have to do the blooper secret lair, which is the first underwater level, so we're going to see how underwater stages do with feet. Alright, here we go. Sorry if the camera's like... I'll probably zoom in to some part of it. If it's like that. Yeah. Alright, this is a little break while they do the cutscene. Oh. Pretty good drink right here. Alright. Let's continue on. We're down. We're gonna go to the blooper secret la lair, I think is what it's called. Here we are, underwater level today. We're going to see how this goes. Alright, we got to watch out for the bloopers. They are very scary in this level. Even when I'm playing with my hands, I'm still kind of scared of this stage. Oh, uh, this is not fun. i got to mash the button. I have to basically stomp on the controller to hope it works. Let's grab this fire flower. All right, kill the blooper. I'm just gonna have to spam every single button on the controller just to get over, just to get over here. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. I didn't mean to hit those buttons. I want these buttons. All right, come on, jump it. Swim over, Mario! Swim! Swim! Okay. Jump for these bloopers. They are not very kind to us today. They want us dead. Surprisingly, I haven't hit one yet. Yeah, I could care less about star coins right now. Go forward, come on. Come on, Mario. There we go, blooper. Oh, we killed one of them. Actually, we've killed a few of them. My feet are already getting tired from this. Oh, uh, I can't defend myself anymore. Okay, let's see if we can grab these coins to get another power-up. Not just because to kill them, but so that way we don't get killed ourselves. Alright, four. I'm actually way more careful right now, though. So I'm actually getting the coins. Uh, let's kill this guy. I know. Let's not kill him. Let's just go in the pipe. Heck yeah! Nice! We are in the pipe! Alright, now this is an entire vertical section, so we're just going to have to swim through and hope we don't get hit by anything. 
I had no idea that one up was there, and I'm gonna grab it because I want an extra life because that's really nice. Never mind. Come on, give me that one up. Give me. All right, we got the one up. Watch out for these bloopers. All right, here we go. We're swimming up to heaven. All right, let's kill this. I don't even care. I just want to end the pipe. I'm dead. I am so dead right now. I'm so freaking dead. If I die right now. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. My legs. No, no. I'm still kicking. No, it's pushing me back. Okay, I'm down. I'm still alive. That's good. Let's go in this way. Oh my god. No, I almost swam above him. That would have been so good, but I didn't. Alright, here we go. This is going to be... Let's do this again! Let's go! Oh, I'm so tired today. Woo! Alright, let's jump up the pipe and go in. Let me get over here and commentate. He's playing with Barbies at almost 12 years old. What the heck? Yeah, whatever. Just watched the uh, first two Toy Stories last night. We're watching three and four tonight. We're doing like a Toy Story marathon, but she wanted to go to bed. I wanted to watch the other two last night, but couldn't. Oh, go, Mario. There's a fire flower. Now, if I get this and take damage, that's absolutely pointless. But if I take damage first and then get it, that's what I'm going to do. Now, that's how we do it in this joint. Joint we call the Mushroom Kingdom. Alright. Give yourself a push me backwards. Heck yeah. God, I'm not really worried about killing these bloopers right now. I'm just worried about beating the level. In Mario games, you don't really get points anymore. Well, you do get points for killing them, but points don't mean anything. I don't even know why there is a point kind Let's try to get these so we can get a 1 up. We're gonna need this 1 up once we get to later stages. This. So I go in the pipe. Ah, oh, I can't grab it. There we go. So I get in the pipe here. Oh, okay. I'm in. All right, here we go. Let's go around. Let's try to get that one up again. Let me kill these bloopers, though. Die! It's like a shooter. You know, I don't care about the one up. I just want to beat the level. I'm not worried about it because I still have another hit point. I gotta watch out for this stupid idiot up here. Come on, come on, Mario! Go! No, the phone fell. There we go, I'm back. That is the hardest pipe to enter right there. That is horrible. Is there no checkpoints the entire stage? That is ridiculous. Who designed this level? That is absolutely... My feet are hurting right now because the phone fell, I think, right on my foot or something. I bumped the tripod. Forward, 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 you little fat Italian. Grab this mush. No! No! Maybe we won't grab the mushroom. How'd they not kill him? That usually kills enemies that are like that. Look, I got four of these guys. Oh, ha ha! Yeah! Come on, Mario, go back in. This, this definitely helps, though, because I'm, I'll am i get to World 5 if I beat this. That pipe that I kept dying at is the final part of the level. So that's always good. I pretty much have to just shake my entire leg for it to hit buttons. For it to swim like this. Swimming, swimming is horrible with your feet. Why am I going up top? Why am I going up top? Why am I going up top? It needs to come down here. Go! Okay. I gotta grab this item here. I gotta grab this fire flower. I mean, sure that it is a fire flower. 
But let me actually get hit first and then go forward. That's going to be my strategy. That way I have a little bit of invincibility. It's really... Like, guys, I know you probably don't believe me, but it's really hard to kill these bloopers with, uh, with your feet. And when you try to kill them, I can probably kill this guy, though. There we go. He, he was kind of in a good spot to be shot. This guy on the other hand. This one passed. Probably, actually, I probably could have gone under. Oh, let's try to get another one up. Never mind, it won't let me! Okay, I don't care anymore. I just want to beat the level. Let's see if I can actually kill this guy first. I'm gonna actually try to kill this guy. Yeah! We killed him! I mean, okay, what needs to happen in here is I need to kill all three of these bloopers. Alright, we got one of them! We actually killed one! That that helps. That's better than not killing any. Come on, get out of here. Get! Get! Get him! Oh! Thank God I had my whole freaking... Come on, Mario. Oh, my feet are getting tired. Come on. When we can make it to the top of this, it's like climbing a mountain right now. And then you don't know, just sp spamming a button. Alright, let's kill this guy. If I kill this guy... Okay, I'm getting killed. Yeah, we got him! I didn't even try to kill him, I was just trying to go to the pipe. But now we can actually be with a fire flower. That means we'll have a fire flower for the next episode. That is... extraordinary. Let's go to the top of the flagpole. Probably won't have to. Continue! I didn't mean to pause the game. Alright, here we go! 800 points. Not bad. Alright. Now moving on to Soda Jungle. I'm actually drinking soda. That's pretty cool. Let me actually put it in the... Uh, recording. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see how we do on Soda Jungle. Now the game is going to get significantly harder because we're on World 5 now and not World 1 anymore. That was World 1. Alright, here we go. This is going to be World 5. Okay, we'll go to the end of World 5 today. We'll beat all the levels in World 5. So the optimal strategy in going through this is we're going to have to do Jungle of the Giants, and we're going to have to do one of those two stages, and then we're going to have to do the Tower, and then the Ghost House. And then we're going to have to do Flight of the Parabeetles, but I don't know if Flight of the Parabeetles is considered... Dude, Flight of the Parabeetles is going to suck on your feet. I don't know if I'll be able to beat that one. I might have to give up on that, but it probably won't happen. I'll probably beat it. So we don't have to worry about it. We can skip all of Rock Candy Mines going that way. Okay, let's go down. So to Jungle, level one. Jungle the Giants. Let's do this one in Jungle the Giants. Alright. What power are they going to give me here? A Fire Flower? They're going to give me a Squirrel Suit. You know, Squirrel Suit probably wouldn't be very good. If I can actually hit this freaking item box. Oh my god. There we go. It's just fire flower. I already got one. Alright, I'm gonna have to. Three fireballs to kill these guys. Just go because I already spam the fireball anyway. There we go. Got him. Nice. Kill this guy. Got him. No! I, uh. Oh, it's out for this big piranha plant. Everything is giant in this, this level. That's why it's called Jungle of the Giants. Oh, I could use that fire flower, actually. I didn't even know I was holding down the run button. I could do a wall jump. Oh, let me see if I can jump off of this Koopa up there. That would be sweet. Didn't happen. I can do a sweet wall jump. I don't know if I can get hyped to get up there or not. We're going to have to just... Wow, I actually didn't die. When did- why did he respawn? What the heck is that? Dude, this game came out in 2019. Why are they respawning? Actually, no, it actually came out in 2012, the original version. Enemies- I didn't know if enemy- I didn't know enemies respawned in games these days. Whatever. We're gonna have to... That was retarded. 
What am I doing? I'm down to one life now. I'm killing myself. Killing myself, all these turtles. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, here we go. No! I didn't jump high enough! That's a game over for us. Alright, we can come back in, though. Never fear. We got infinite continues. And we save the game after the secret exit so we don't have to start over. Oh, we just gotta go back over to so the jungle. We continue. Continue on our way here. Actually, let me uh, spiff up my feet a little bit because they're feeling like I got this uh, antibacterial hand spray, but you know we're not using our hands there. We're going to use this on our feet. Yeah, let's actually do some measures here. There we go. It's Japanese cherry blossom flavor. Man, that smells really good. Okay, that'll freshen up my uh, my feet. Capabilities. I sprayed the controller. Now the controller is wet. That'll be good. Now it's now it's slippery. If things weren't bad enough, the controller is now slippery. All right. Let's grab this mushroom and jump on this stupid Goomba's head. Oh, I almost did a tripler. All right. Let's see if I can jump off this Koopa and get to the top. All right, nice. See if we can get a free power up here. This that would be very nice. And heck yeah, we're gonna be able to get a fire flower right here. That's what I like to see. So you guys like to see, ladies and gentlemen? Now we smell like Japanese cherries, cherry blossoms. There, get out of town. I don't even care. I got hit. Actually, I do kind of care. Go, oh, jump. I never understood why piranha plants don't get you. Actually, you know what? What I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna ground pound. Then get the fire flower. Ah, that was a smart move. Now we're just gonna run for it. Jump up here, kill this Goomba. Never mind, actually looks like we're not actually killing him. Because I only hit him twice and not three times. Because in Mario games you can only shoot two fireballs at once. You can't shoot three at once. Alright. I think there's a star coin in there, but I don't care about the star coin. Alright! Uh, the next stage is the Bramble level. Come on! Yeah! You see those sweet moves I got up my sleeve? I got some wall jumping skills here. Koopa! I don't watch this. Watch this. I'm like... Oh! Oh! Didn't think I could do that with my feet, did ya? That's kind of hard to do with your hands if you're a noob. And I killed myself. Right after freaking... Oh, Bruno's brother is playing Fortnite. That is just a... Uh... Hey. What's going on, guys? Let's go and get this lined up. Sorry if I look like I'm a freaking troll or something, because, you know, I am. I, I'm a zip monster. For those of you who don't know, Mario Plush Bros is not a human. He's a zip monster. That's what I am. All right, we made it through. This part is is very scary. We're gonna jump on this guy, make it to the other side, jump above this big fat Goomba, make our way over. Wonder if there'll be any items in any of these. Just in case, we're gonna actually he'll probably just destroy the item box. Well, I just want to see what happens. He's coming back. I don't know what's in these item boxes. Just coins. Star! I never knew that. Okay, let's, let's just go. Come on, jump! No, I almost killed myself. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't. No! No! Ah! That was, dude. Okay, I shouldn't have grabbed the star. Stars are dangerous with feet gameplay. All right, let's head back into Soda Jungle One, Jungle of the Giants. Then we're gonna do Bramble Woods after this, cause I like Bramble Woods. It's a good stage. What's this do? Uh, activate Super Guy. Luigi will show you a sample run. I didn't mean to hit. Yes! I guess we're doing Super Guide. Alright, this will give me an opportunity to relax for a little bit. Luigi's showing us how to complete the level. Luigi's 
Luigi's going slower than I am, and I'm using my feet. That's pretty pathetic. That's kind of like the Super Kong mode in, um... And, uh... Oh, I'm playing now! That's kind of like the Super Kong mode in, in, um, New Super... Or Donkey Kong Country Returns. Oh, let's grab a Fire Flyer. Now I'm Luigi. I actually like Luigi more than Mario, so that's good. Oh, no! I'm, I'm cornered by this Koopa. Okay. Grab this mushroom. If I can. Watch out for all these guys. Can I miss the mush? Alright, I got it. Here, watch out for this piranha plant. The, the, the horrible thing is I got the checkpoint. Oh, let's grab this fire flower. Heck yeah. Alright. And yeah, we got it! Now we're gonna jump over. We'll take the below path here. And we got the fire flower. Or the uh, star point. That was all that path was. I can't actually get through there. We're gonna have to jump above here and kill this. Kill this Goomba. This Goomba does not want to be killed, I don't think. We just split him into two. Split him into two more. Yeah, here we kill the Koopa. The Koopas don't split into multiples, just the Goombas that do that. Lydia is finally leaving. She does not like being in videos anymore, does she? Alright, jumping over, we got the checkpoint. So if I beat this level, what happens? Do I have to redo it as Mario again? This is still the super guy, but I'm actually playing. I'm actually playing as Luigi. No, 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 I can't die. I can't, I can't die. I can't die. I can't die. Come! No, Luigi! No, no! Just kill the Koopa! Oh my god. I'm still alive right now. I need to take a break once I get on the platform. No! Oh. See, I can wall jump. I just can't wall jump for long. And I'm back as Mario. Do I have my checkpoint? Please give me my checkpoint, game. I got it fair and square. I get my checkpoint back. Thank God, this is a nightmare right here. Oh, shoot. Well, my my pants are really far up. You can probably see some... Actually, you probably can't see it. Ow, my hand. Alright, guys, we got two more lives. If we die, we gotta restart the level again. I'm kind of talking like I'm doing a live stream right now, but I'm not. I'm just, I'm just doing a video. I just, I haven't commentated over gameplay in a long time. Oh my gosh, these Goombas! These Goombas are just. You got to be really precise there, and the fact that a fireball is only gonna—it takes you three hits to kill one of them—is is really bad. All I can tell this, my left, my right, my left stick is not as clean as my left stick is. I don't even use my left stick. Imagine if I try to beat Breath of the Wild with my feet. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see me attempt that at some point. Because I won't be, I won't be it. My feet, I don't know. Now, it's obviously possible to beat games with your feet. It's just a challenge to do it. It's not, this isn't a really, is it possible challenge. I'm not actually going to grab that star this time because I'm going to end up killing myself. And I killed myself in that hole down there. That was stupid. Oh my god, look how many Goombas there are. I'm actually building some decent momentum like that. Alright, watch out for the Piranha Plant. Jump. 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 And here's the finisher. BAM! Beat! Beat! Jungle of the Giants! That was a bit of a challenge. Alright, now for Bramble Woods. I think I'm going to do Bramble Woods. I don't remember what the next one, the other one is. we got two options. To split path. we got two options of levels. I think I'm gonna try Bramble Woods though. Oh, actually, we could get the uh, mushroom house there. Get 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 us free mushroom. Toad's here. I think he's gonna give us. I think we gotta chase down Nabbit. Actually, if we chase Nabbit, we could uh, cheat some levels. I don't know what levels we could cheat though. We could cheat Bramble Woods. Actually, we'll cheat the other one. If we can get this, uh, we well, let's let's try to catch Nabbit. Let's try to catch Nabbit. Actually, let's get a power-up first. 
We're gonna do the Mushroom House, and then we're gonna catch Nabbit. Nabbit's back at the first stage. The first level went hard. If you guys remember, we beat the we beat the first level really easily. Ow, my ear hurts really bad right now. Oh my god, ow. It's not my eardrum, it's the outside of my ear that hurts. I'm just a hot mess today, man. Pick a block, give you whatever item. Really? I just want the mushroom. I'm just looking for the mushroom. Luckily, I can kind of watch two at once. Alright, it's the first and second one, I think, are the items. I know for a fact the first one's the mushroom, but. If I can even hit it. There we go, and bam. Maybe we can whip out Toadette. I mean, there's no rules as long as I beat the game with my feet. There's no rules on what how I beat the game, which as long as I beat it. Alright, that is a mushroom and a super crown. Okay, let's head on in. We're gonna do. Alright, so we're gonna try to chase Nat first. We're gonna have to go back to Acorn Plains. Wah! I'm gonna win. What? Uh, go lose! Oh, since we didn't do that, we can't get that. B is the items? How do you use the items? The B. Plus. How do I use the items? B. R. Let's flip this out. Let's go try to catch an abbey. Oh, I don't want to do that one again. I do not want to do Tilted Tunnel again. Right, I'm just going to have to hold down these two. Let's see if I can do this. Alright, here we go. Uh, oh, I can grab a small suit. Alright, Navi. You're mine! I don't care. We almost got him! Shoot! Oh, man. Oh, we're not doing good right now. Come on, Nabbit. Die! Oh, I almost got him! No! Oh, I got him! I got him! Yeah! We actually caught Nabbit with our feet! I caught Nabbit with my feet. That was really solid. That was a great run. Now we got a PA core. Now I can cheat the next level. I don't have to play it because I can just fly over it. That is... That's very good. Alright. Hopefully... Then, now this, there's no guarantees that that will happen. Because I don't really know how I'm going to be able to use this item with my feet. Because I have to use the triggers on the back of the controller. And how I'm going to grab those with my feet is going to be a very interesting task. But we're going to see how it works. And we're going to go straight down. We're going to go left. Bridge over poison waters. We're not going to actually be taking the bridge. We're actually going to be just flying over it. Uh, we're going to have to find a way to... Yeah, we're just going to have to do this. Oh, I'm actually holding down the button. Okay, I'm just going to have to slightly go under, and then once I come... Okay, I'm in a good spot right now for this. I can't really fly over all this, but I can somewhat fly over it. This is the most overpowered power-up in the game. Now, there's actually a secret exit that'll take you to the other side of the jungle, but we don't want to do that because then we can't take the Moraine Clouds exit. We'll have to do Rock Candy Mines. Uh, to minimize the amount of levels we take, we're actually not going to be taking the secret exit this level. For those of you mastered New Super Mario Bros. U routers, I myself I might consider to be one of those. But I'm not for sure. And that is the level. We don't get a one up here, that'll be sad. Okay, there we go. We got it! Now we're up to two lives. Now, the thing about this is it's going to give us a free acorn suit as well for the cat tower. Now we're going to have to do the Boom Booms Tower. I was going to do Bramble Woods, but Bramble Woods I don't think you can actually fly over because there's a part where you have to go down. So, that was a better option. As much as I'd like to do Bramble Woods. But if we do Bramble Woods, then we get the, the one-up house. 
which could be useful. But the only thing game over is really due to you is um, get rid of your checkpoints. So this okay. This actually gives me an acorn suit anyway. Right, here's our first tower of the day. We're gonna be fighting Boom Boom. I don't think boss battles will be too bad. be honest. Alright. As long as I just follow the snake block and be careful, I should be able to beat this stage. But watch out for those amps. I think that's what those are called, amps. The electric guys. Oh, no. That is not good. That is not good at all. Okay, I'm dead. We are... Uh, blah, blah, whack! Mmm, Waluigi. Damn, I'm... Alright, we're gonna have to restart that stage. That was not good. Hopefully, we're actually gonna do this level and then we might end it in the video. Yeah, I think we'll end the video after I beat this level. And then we'll be play the rest of the game next time. Hopefully, I can get this posted today. I don't know. Film this on July 13th, so you tell me. Now, I know Nathaniel Bandy did a challenge on this game. Not this game specifically, but he didn't do Super Mario Bros. DS with his feet. But, I, but he kind of did like an overview, is it possible challenge type video. This is just a gameplay uh, commentary video. Which these are much more chill. Sort of like a playthrough format is what I'm doing. But this is just one. Generally, I can actually beat the game I, uh, in like an hour if I do all of this. We have to actually play all the levels in Peach's Castle, I think. Let's try to grab these coins here. Ah, oh, dang it! If I can grab those coins, I got a game over, but that's good because we're back to five lives. I, I honestly don't care about the one-up house because we're going to end up getting a lot of game overs anyways. Two continues. Oh no! Oh no! Did it not save? Do I have to do those again? Oh my god, if I have to play those levels again. No, I have to do Juggle the Giants again! No! Oh, that's horrible! I have to play those two stages again and catch Nabbit again. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna do Bramble Woods next time so I can get that one of those one-ups. Oh no, that's horrible. I should have done a quick save. What was I thinking? I have to do this stupid level again! Oh my god, this video is gonna be long. Alright, this time at least we know what's happening. That is not good. Oh no! Oh, no! That is horrible! Why do I have to do this again? Oh, jeez. I can't believe I forgot about that, that did that. Because I never get game overs in these games when I'm playing with my hands. But obviously, I'm not playing with my hands. Hopefully, the audio is alright, too. I want this mushroom. No, I don't want to jump over it. I want to run at it. I don't want to jump over it. I want to run at it. There we go. French. Uh -oh. Run. I'm thinking about ending the video after this uh, level here. Because it's going to be really long. I don't want it to be that long. That was a horrible start. Alright, here we go. Using two feet is a good strategy. Alright, sorry if that's not close enough. Oh gosh. Maybe I can zoom in a little more. Hold on, let me see if I can pause again. I can zoom this in on my feet a little bit better. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. 
Body, body. Here we go. Make sure jump. All right, we're in. We're still in the game, ladies and gentlemen. I don't give a crap about the star coins. The star coins are not necessary for a completion or for a completionist run. They are, but not for this type of run. As many coins I can, I can get a squirrel suit. Be pretty sweet. There we go. We got a squirrel suit. I'm getting way better with my feet right now. It's actually not hard as long as your feet have good accuracy. Most people's don't. Feet are kind of stiff compared to hands. So I'm just keeping that in mind as time goes far. Alright, looks like we got a checkpoint. That is very good. Okay, we might actually beat this stage first try because I'm doing really well right now. I have not died yet on this level. Well, except for that one time. We don't talk about it. Just like we don't talk about Bruno. No, no. no. We do talk about Bruno. We do. I don't know where he's at. I actually haven't talked to Bruno in a long time. He's switching schools on me. So, sadly, that's uh, that is not good. All right, watch this big boulder guy. Oh, that was easy. Oh, I made it through, and we get a mushroom. And I lost the mushroom. No, I died. But we got a checkpoint. We got a checkpoint. Again, here's proof I'm not using my hands. Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, I don't think... Well, we could use items, because I do have items. I have a mushroom, I think. Okay, yeah. We could go catch Nabbit again. Because Nabbit is out, but Nabbit would not... Uh, the, pea, the pea corn would not be good for this stage. The pea corn would not be good. But since I have the mushroom here, we might be able to get a free squirrel suit right at the beginning. Luckily, we did get the checkpoint. Now, this part is much harder than the other part. Now, I can get a squirrel suit here. Should be able to get a squirrel suit. Ah, shoot! Oh, if only I would have hit it first. All right, I gotta watch out because I don't want to get hit. Because if I get hit, then another hit's dead. Uh, maybe I'll find some red coins or something. There's a star coin up there. A low flesh lag. Off TV. Music guys, don't mind me. Oh no! All right, I'm still alive. Come on, Mario, you little fat Italian. Mario's a little guy. All right, here we go. Move, Mario. Go! Oh no, I'm dead. No! Oh, the freaking ant guy. Right, let's try this again. We still got plenty of lives left. Don't panic. No panicking, guys. So we got two li uh, plenty of lives left down there. We actually still have four lives. Four whole lives left. This is going to be great. All right. Fantasy. All right. Just got to be careful about this run. I could switch over to Toadette. I think I might do that in case I die. If I'm out of one life, I'm going to switch over to Toadette. Peachette is pretty overpowered. But there's no rules. The only rule is I have to complete the game now. When it goes up to, it's going to be hard. I, I really don't care about the star coins because we're not going to do the star worlds. So there's no point in grabbing star coins, even though it is kind of satisfying grabbing them. Don't walk into that ant Mario. Uh, this guy. There we go, right through. Let's see if I can grab this mushroom. Let's see if I can not lose it. Try not to lose it. I'll actually have to try to duck. Ducking is very hard in this control. No, Mario, don't, don't kill yourself! Alright, I... Nice! Nice! No! I thought... Continue! Continue! Alright. Oh, there we go, I'm dead. Alright, we got three more lives, though. We're gonna die two more times. And if we die, we're gonna switch our character. Because I don't wanna get a game over. So if I get a game over, that means I gotta play those levels again. I have to play Jungle the Giants and the uh, Poison level, so I don't want to do that. Like it all! So, that's why we're just going to continue on with this side. Alright. Marching band starts next week. Try and get Hawk to put me on staff here. I fill out the application three months late. Uh, three months late. And, uh, it's due on April 15th. I submitted July 13th, and hopefully he'll let me still be on. He probably won't, because Mr. Hawk's a, uh, I'm just gonna say uh, he's not that kind of guy. To say the least, but uh, that's what I'm saying. Mr. Hawk, if you're watching this, please let me. Thank 
be in my new car when I watch this. You might be. So, never know. Oh no! Forward. Okay. Watch out, this thing up to here. Get That's where he goes up too. That's where it's cheeky. You gotta be in the top there. This is, this is some gruesome, gruesome stuff here. No! Oh. Hit the button! Uh, game. Could use a meal right now. I'm kind of new for lunch. I'm gonna get some lunch after I film this. That sounds pretty good. Sorry, this is, I'm just talking. But uh, my feet are sweaty right now. Because we're coming down to the wire here. Two lives left. But I do I don't know if I still have my checkpoint if I switch over to Toadette. But we're just gonna not try we're gonna try to not die here. We're gonna not try to die. Actually, that's the same thing. We're gonna not try to die. I don't would try to die. Sometimes you have to. Oh, I went too far. Oh, the green snake block saved my life. That was fantastic. Now, this is really hard to dodge. You gotta get just the right amount of momentum to get across those big amps. There's mushroom. Jump back up here. I need to duck at just the right time. This game, you cannot move while you're ducking, which is very nice. Because if I duck, I'm, just, I'm, I'm not. I'm committed to the duck. And I don't move. Oh, that is retarded. Not good. Ah, I think they're for retarded. Alright. Some people don't. Alright, we're gonna jump. Oh, I killed myself again on the amp. Well, actually, more like he killed me, but I walked right into him, so I don't know what to call that. Alright, we're gonna. We're gonna go to Toadette and how do I switch characters? Because if I die again, we're getting a game over, and I'm not risking dying again. Let's change character. I think they still have five lives. Actually, I have all these characters to use. We're gonna use Toadette. I didn't mean to use that. I was going to use the Peachette outfit, but I should be able to get Peachette as long as I... And I still have the checkpoint. That is OP. That is overpowered. This stick is very stiff. Why did I do that? That was retarded. Uh, anyway, we're going we're gonna to keep going. Oh, my toes itchy there, guys. How about that? Oh, fuck. All right, we're gonna use Peachette. Peachette is basically Toadette's version of the squirrel suit. She can grab the squirrel suit, but she can also grab the super crown. And the super crown makes her become Peachette, which Peachette is, has a super ability where she can fly. Oh, I didn't fly for long enough. Crown, I did. Alright, we're just gonna chill here with this. Hopefully we don't get hit. Now, I'm, unlike Nabbit, I'm not invincible. With this power, if I can float over the amps. With ease. Like so. Yeah, that's very professional. I will go hit the P switch, but that is way too risky. I could go grab that other one, but ah, too late. I didn't mean to jump, I just added my foot accidentally hit the button. That's what happens when you try to beat games with your foot. There's a lot of accidents that happen with the buttons. Because your foot are just trying to adjust to a comfortable position. And in the process, hit a button and kill it. Oh my god. We made it to the boss. We made it to Boom Boom! Alright, if we beat Boom Boom, we're done for the day. We'll come back and meet Bowser next time. Alright guys. Very nice. Let's see what we got here. I got a mushroom for the boss battle. Kamek's coming in. Kamek is gonna make Boom Boom big. Big Boom Boom. How big, you ask? Well, you'll find out. Oh, that's okay. Hey, we killed him! Now I'm gonna do the cheap, cheap, cheap strategy. I was using Boom Boom. Heck yeah. Uh, there we go, we got him! I took damage and then he. Alright, guys, we beat half. We're halfway done with the game. So, with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and now you know that I can beat half of the game without my hands. I can beat half the game with my feet. Most people probably can't go that far without using their hands.
to use your feet to hit so much harder. A lot of people are probably more skilled with their feet. I, th I can consider myself a pretty good foot expert. Um, anyway, guys, well, we got big videos planned for the future. Uh, hopefully, maybe not. I don't know, maybe. Probably. Uh, so that's going to be it for today, and just showing you guys how it is to play a game with your feet. But I'm going to beat the game next time. I'm actually going to come back probably next week and finish the game. And that's how that is, so thank you for watching, and bye-bye. Wah!